Unit Eleven. Science and Technology. Page forty-eight. Getting started. Activity one. Listen and read. Young Nick and Cho are talking with Dr. Nelson after listening to his talk about the roles of science and technology in the twenty-first century. Well, as you know, developments in science and technology are greatly changing the way we live, communicate, travel, everything. You mean science and technology are changing our lives in every field? Right. For the better? Mostly for the better. Science and technology also have enormous effects on economic development. Well, my dad told me that only robots would work in factories and clean our homes in the future. Is it right, Doctor Nelson? Sure, and we'll have flying cars and spaceships, so that we can travel faster and further than before. So we won't have traffic jams any more. No, we won't. Science and technology are the keys to development in other fields too. They will certainly bring a lot more benefits to people. And what about education? Our science teacher said that there would be no more schools. We just stay at home and learn on the internet. That's right. Students won't go to school like now. Wow! I hope that happens soon. Unit Eleven. Page fifty-one. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity four. Listen and repeat the following words. Mark the stressed syllables in the words. Unforeseen. Impatient. Impossible. Unlucky. Unhealthy. Unlimited. Immature. Impure. Unnatural. Unwise. Unhurt. Impolite. Unit Eleven. Page Fifty One. A closer look. One. Pronunciation. Activity Six. Fill the gaps with one of the words in five. Listen and check. Then read the sentences. One. The teacher said this water was impure and couldn't be used in our experiment. Two. Scientists have identified a link between an unhealthy diet and diseases. Three. This job would be impossible without the help of a computer. Four. Our natural resources are not unlimited. Five. It's no good being impatient with small children. Unit eleven. Page fifty-five. Skills two. Listening. Activity one. Listen to the conversation and choose the best summary. Hey, Zung and Chow, do you remember Dr. Nelson's talk on science and technology? Yes. He said that science and technology would help us solve the world's problems in the future. Right, I think world hunger is a problem now, 
and developing ways to get high yields in farming will help feed the growing population on Earth. Good point. Also, we may be able to live on other planets, so overcrowding won't be a problem anymore. And I like the idea of having lessons at home with a robot and on the internet. And no more paper books. We'll have e-books and tablets for everything. That doesn't sound like a benefit to me. I'd still want to go to school. I'd like to communicate face to face with teachers and friends. In my opinion, science and technology will bring new problems to people. Like what? Well, robots will bring unemployment, and high yields in farming may destroy the environment, and sending people to Mars may cause pollution. You're right. So many new problems. Unit Eleven, page fifty-five. Skills two. Listening. Activity two. Listen again to the conversation between Nick, Young, and Cho. Circle the words and phrases as you hear them. Hey, Zung and Chow, do you remember Dr. Nelson's talk on science and technology? Yes, he said that science and technology would help us solve the world's problems in the future. Right, I think world hunger is a problem now, and developing ways to get high yields in farming will help feed the growing population on Earth. Good point. Also, we may be able to live on other planets, so overcrowding won't be a problem anymore. And I like the idea of having lessons at home with a robot and on the internet. And no more paper books. We'll have e-books and tablets for everything. That doesn't sound like a benefit to me. I'd still want to go to school. I'd like to communicate face to face with teachers and friends. In my opinion, science and technology will bring new problems to people. Like what? Well, robots will bring unemployment. And high yields in farming may destroy the environment, and sending people to Mars may cause pollution. You're right. So many new problems. Unit Eleven. Page fifty-five. Skills two. Listening. Activity three. Listen again and answer the questions. Hey, Zung and Chow, do you remember Dr. Nelson's talk on science and technology? Yes, he said that science and technology would help us solve the world's problems in the future. Right, I think world hunger is a problem now, and developing ways to get high yields in farming will help feed the growing population on Earth. Good point. Also, we may be able to live on other planets, so overcrowding won't be a problem anymore. And I like the idea of having lessons at home with a robot and on the internet. And no more paper books. We'll have e-books and tablets for everything. That doesn't sound like a benefit to me. I'd still want to go to school. I'd like to communicate face to face with teachers and friends. In my opinion. Science and technology will bring new problems to people. Like what? Well, robots will bring unemployment, and high yields in farming may destroy the environment, and sending people to Mars may cause pollution. You're right. So many new problems.